Hi, this is Doug Ferber with American Feast, and we're at Fancy Food Show in San Francisco with world-famous chef Paul Prudhomme. Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? We're doing great, and it's an honor uh, to be talking with you today, and for all the years that we've seen you uh, on TV and cookbooks, uh, it's really an honor for us to, uh, to be here with you today, and also to have this interview on our website. Thank you very much. Well, I'm just an old cook. Well... That's why, that's why you've... You've uh, uh, seen so much in things that I've done in the past. I've got a lot of years, you know. Been cooking 50 years, so it's fun. You are the inventor of the turducken. Is that right? Well, I think uh, I think I look at it more like a creator than an inventor. Uh, you know, I, I always think of inventors as something that's uh, not food-oriented. But, yes, we uh, I, I did the turducken, been doing it for a very long time. How did you come up with that creation? Started as a, in a and uh, working in a in a, uh, a buffet line and uh, trying to keep the the baron of beef and the and uh, the ham and the turkey looking good, and the turkey would always have uh, you know uh, sort of like pieces of, of meat that looked like hair coming off the breast as you cut it and so on. So when it was under the light, so I was trying to get rid of that and I started looking at it how you could do that uh, and do it in. You know, make it look like a regular turkey and uh, without the bone structure in it so you could cut it easier. And so it took a while, but, uh, you know, probably 10 years of evolving. Uh, but it was probably 40 years ago, 35 years ago. Um, what is your favorite creation uh, in your 50 years of cooking? Usually the one I'm eating, and it's really good, you know. It's, uh, we've, we've created so many things over the years that, uh, you know, that, you, know that just, that you can't pick one, you know, just can't. And what brings you to the Fancy Food Show here today? You're this is my company, and this company is, um, is uh, 25 years old, uh, and uh, we've been doing herbs and spice blends uh, for, you know, for a long time, for probably about 40 years, and, so, uh, and we do the books, and we do other things, and uh, we do trade shows. And uh, these, uh, the, the, the spices, and the, are they rubs also, or well, what do you use them for? It's, it's sort of saying... Um, you know, is a, is, is a wheelchair a bicycle. You know, it has wheels on it, goes forward. Uh -huh. You know, so, I mean, herbs and spices are herbs and spices. You can call them whatever you want. If they balance together, you add them together and you balance them, could be a rub, it could be a blend, it could be whatever you want to call it. And so that's what we do. We make blends. Where can you get these, um, these uh, spices? Uh, it, we're, we're in all 50 states and 30 countries around the world and uh, almost any supermarket you can go into and uh, buy them there off the shelf. Excellent, excellent. Well, we really do appreciate you uh, taking the time today and good luck at the show and, and hopefully we'll, we'll run into you in New Orleans next time we're in the French Quarter. Oh, that'd be great, coming into New Orleans. Uh, actually, everybody should come to New Orleans because uh, we're not getting conventions now and, and the city really needs tourism. And so, um, you know, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna go somewhere and spend money, come do it in New Orleans. We'll, right. we'll do it better. Well, thank you very much, and have a great uh, convention. Thank you, sir. You too.